Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to Money Tax Guru. In this video, we are going to learn about cam setting and needle arrangement for a single tuck PQ fabric. As I mentioned in my previous videos, uh, all web knit structures were being made by using these three cams knit cam, tuck cam, and miss cam. Only by using these three cams, we can make n number of web knit structures. Uh, single tuck PQ structure. Actually, whoever is watching this video for the first time, please watch my previous video, the knit structure analysis of a single tuck PQ fabric, so that it will be easy for you to understand the cam setting as well as needle arrangement. I have provided the link of knit structure analysis of a single tuck PQ fabric in the description. So please watch the video, that video first, followed by this, so that you can grab the complete technical information uh, in my previous video as I have explained uh, single tuck PQ fabric is a course four course repeat and it is a two track design how the two tracks how uh, how to identify how to decide how to declare that particular fabric structure is a two track or a two three track or a four track structures I, I can explain this in using a small Excel actually in my previous video, I have explained the single tuck PQ is a four course repeat. Course number one is knit knit, course number two is knit tuck, and course number three is again knit knit, and course number four is the vice versa. After course number two, it's a tuck knit. I have just copied that information to an Excel. Just course number one, knit knit, course number two, knit tuck. Course number three, again knit knit. Course number four is a vice versa of course number two. So it's the uh, knit structure, knit structure of a single tuck PQ fabric. I've just copied the same thing in the uh, in in my successive Excel uh, columns. Just the the concept behind how to identify the tracks is just like a woven fabric peg plan analysis how we analyze the woven fabric using peg plan to identify how many heel shafts were required to create that particular design the same concept we have to apply here just check on the vertical wise the vertical wise the vertical the first one is knit 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 tuck this is considered as track number one and the second one knit tuck knit knit this is completely different from the track number one so it is considered as track number two it is the the successively I have pasted just pasted the same single tuck pq in the successive manner so this one again knit 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 tuck so this is just matching to the track number one so we are we are marking is as marking it as track number one again the needle number four it is knit tuck knit knit it is just matching to course number i mean the needle number two so track number two so this is how the tracks number of tracks is required to create that particular structure is being identified how this single tuck pq requires two track two track needles this is the concept behind this. So let's move on to cam order. Even as, my, as how many course repeat tag it is, single tag PQ is a four course repeat. So obviously single tag PQ requires four cams to create that particular design. The same way, just I have, I have marked that two tracks, that course number one, knit knit, course number two knit tuck course number three knit knit and again course number four the vice versa of course number two so it is tuck knit just to create this particular structure this is the cam order we need to follow you can just correlate how it is arranged so knit knit it is arranged in vertical way it is in horizontal the cam is arranged vertical again knit tuck it is arranged vertical again course number three knit knit again it is arranged vertical again course number four tuck knit 
again this is arranged vertical so it means to create a cam order we need to just bend just turn this knit structure to 90 degrees just tilt just tilt that structure into 90 degrees just you can see it is mentioned in the cam order actually just it is a it is physically it is mentioned in the cam but if you want to mention or you want to uh, advise your knitter to follow this is the cam to follow the cam order you can mention it in this way actually cam number one it is knit knit just you are just tilting that structure to 90 degrees so course cam number one it is knit knit cam number two it is knit tuck course cam number three again knit knit again cam number four it is tuck knit this is how the cam order is being made now let's move on to needle arrangement it is a combination of structure cam order and then finally the needle arrangement we all know this single tuck pq is a four cam four course repeat so it, it needs to be a four cam repeat so it is a four course repeat again we have converted that into a four cam repeat we have arranged the cam order in such a way that knit knit just matching to the course number one and knit tuck just matching to course number two and again knit knit matching to course number three and again tuck knit matching to course number four now how the needle needs to be arranged just we need to follow that track information so just the first one is the track number one so we need to put the track needle number one first track needle needs to be placed first followed by track number two since this is getting repeated so the needle arrangements needs to be first track followed by second track again first first track followed by second track one two one two one two this is how the needle arrangements needs to be done to create a single tuck pq fabric i hope this video is very useful and informative thanks for watching see you all in the next video till then bye from your money text guru bye bye